problem. You've registered a domain and purchased web hosting space to go with it. What do you do next? Solution? Build a website. Bensel's Pencils wants to get online. They've registered a domain name and rented web server space, which is known as web hosting. Now they need to create a website for the world to see. There are several ways to go about it, but first, we need to understand how websites work. When you get right down to it, a web browser is simply a translation tool that converts the language or code of the internet into words and pictures that humans can understand. This language tells a web browser what a website should look like, what size a word should be, whether it's italicized or bold, and what charts and pictures to display. Bensels has several options for creating their site. Someone at the company can take the time to learn and write the code, but that might take a while. As an alternative, Bensels can hire an outside company to design their site for a fee and translate that site into the proper code. Using an outside designer can deliver a site that's more robust, visually appealing, and professional. And they can do it in a lot less time than it takes to learn it yourself. A third option that's simple and pretty affordable is for Bensels to use a website building program. Using this method, someone at Bensels can choose from hundreds of existing styles and then fill in the blanks to customize their site. Some companies include a web-based site building tool as part of a package that includes domain registration and web hosting. Let's review. <laughs> web pages are created using a special code language. With the right training, you can write this code yourself, hire a professional to do it, or you can create your site with the help of a simple and affordable website building program. Problem solved. <laughs>